Hello, uh, my name is Garrett Maxson. Today we're starting on advanced scripting and how to use variables within um, a template that we're going to create. I've already created a template and this is the command that I've written. Um, the command name is going to be example of writing with next variable. Next variable is a, uh, a command that comes with Dragon um, when it's installed and it helps us navigate through our template when we create a template. This is a very simple template that I've made um, using send keys. Send keys is a basic way of writing to a document from a command. In order to do that, we have to write send keys and we have to add in a quote. Um, quote means that we're writing in a string that needs to be placed out, not a, not a variable. Um, we'll get to variables in the next uh, video tutorial, but in this case we're just going to write out a simple template of this is how a, and this will represent our next variable where we want to navigate to, of how next variable is used, and then we'll have an end quote. Um, and this part, this is a this is a comment. A comment means that it starts with this single quote, and that when we put anything after on the same line, um, after a single quote, is going to turn out green and is not actually going to be read by uh, the command, but is actually just a note card for us as programming and advanced scripting of what this actual line does. In this case, I'm using a double brackets here as a place card for dragging to go to a and recognize. So it'll skip through and I'll show that later. Each send keys can only have 128 characters. So it is is two characters. Each one of these represents one character. Space is also considered a character when you're writing. So when you're writing with send keys, I recommend that you just do one sentence at a time. In this case, I split it in two so I can show different things that are going on. In this case, you'll see that there's no space here, but there is a space down here. And that's very important because if I didn't have a space here, used would be linked in with inside. So it would be one word instead of two words, as it should, it should be. You need to be careful and again, use periods. Write each send keys as one sentence, and then on the next one, just use a space. This is the beginning of our sentence, so there's no space there. But in a case like this, we're actually going to get hit enter, and enter is a key that we're sending, and in that case, it has to be within these curly brackets here. Um, true at the end of it makes is part of send keys only, and true says to the programming, um, it's, a, it's a compiler, but it says to the programming that we'll make sure that we write everything that's here before we move on to the next step, which the next step will be another send keys in this case. Um, down here we have another sentence I'm going to put to, a hello world. And we have again these brackets that are placeholders for when we say next variable. Within these brackets I have world, which is a, a cue to me to say world in that place, but you could have a number there, you can say description in here, and what will happen is when we skip to that variable, it'll highlight that entire thing, it'll, it'll come out and it'll highlight this entire uh, variable that we put here, and whatever we say in normal mode will replace everything that's in there. So again, I'm using description as a, as a note card to what I am supposed to say there. Um, and I'll show this in here where I say three, and this is again a key, so we have to put it within curly brackets. It's a it's an odd key. It's not it's not an, uh, a letter, and it's a plus sign. So we need to put that within these curly brackets. And these have rules to them, um, like quotes have rules and single quotes that we'll go over in later tutorial. But this is the very basics of them. So enter backspace space bar. Um, uh, will have these these curly brackets around it and when it prints you'll see that it doesn't show those when it comes up so here it's going to say three plus three is and then I want to say a number here um, so I'm going to write is equal to and I'm going to put a space I'm make sure I put my space there that way there's a space that comes out and then it's going to say true and so we're going to make sure that each line is sent this true is going to make sure that each line is sent before it moves on to the next line um, my next comment here is anything between the brackets will be overwritten, which we want certain keys such as period, I mean, sorry, plus sign needs curly brackets around them. So we've named this, and again, in, in basic command creation, I went over a lot of this stuff. So if you have questions about what these particular things are, go back to basic uh, um, command creation tutorial that, that is prior to this one. Um, so we're going to go ahead and save this one. I'm going to save it first, and then example of writing with next variable. Example of writing with next variable. So when this is typed out, we'll see that, again, within the curly brackets that I had, 
um, let me pull this up real quick, that, that the curly brackets here to get the plus sign doesn't show up and it doesn't show up with the enter too. You can see that when it got to this place here, it wrote document and then period and then hit this key enter to move on to the next line. So again, this is just little ways of uh, sending certain keys that are not letters to, to tell the word processor what to do. So now we're gonna go ahead and go into this and I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna say next variable and it's gonna bring me to these brackets and I'm gonna say example of how next variable in these brackets is used inside of a word document, which is gonna cover up this whole thing. I'm gonna say document. So next variable, example, next variable, variable, next variable. And you see that right now it's highlighting the entire uh, document with the brackets included. So and I know that I need to say document here document. So instead of document, I could say word processor or word template or anything there. I just highlighted to show you as an example of the things that you could put in there, such as the next one. Next uh, next variable, world. Next variable, six. And that writes everything out. So that's how we can easily navigate through a template is using next variable. There are more ways and more advanced ways that we can do this, uh, such as dialog box and list variables, which we'll go through in later tutorials. But to go over this again, we are showing a simple template using send keys, using quotes to show that we're putting in a string. In the next, in the next uh, tutorial, I'm gonna go through using variables. So I can do um, send keys variables and then variables and then um, I can sorry let me make this through real quick show you an example of what we're going to do with the next one um, be equal to hello world okay so what this is going to do it's going to write out the same thing again but when it says send keys and it uses this variable this variable links to here and this variable is equal to inside quotes hello world so this without quotes shows that it's a variable with quotes means that it's what the variable is equal to again we're going to go over this in another tutorial but just to show you the basics of how this works example of writing with next variable So we can see at the end here that we added in the hello world. Um, going back to look at our command real quick, we can see that I wrote send keys variable two, and that will write in the hello world that comes up in here. So it takes the information from this block here and places it down here. Again, this is a little bit more an advanced um, feature of send keys and scripting in general, uh, and we'll go through that in the next tutorial. My name is Garrett Maxson. Thank you for listening.